Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the makeup look. I'm just going to start with a medium brown shade and this is going directly in my crease just to add a bit more dimension and so the other colors can blend up into this one. So I'm just taking a really round fluffy brush and working it in. Now going in with my Huda Beauty palette, this is amazing. I'm just going to take a olivey green kind of color and I'm just using this to deepen up the crease even more, add some dimension and get it really dark and it's smoky so I'm just using a smaller blending brush and just taking it from side to side making sure there's no harsh lines at all and to ensure that I went back in with the medium brown just to blend out any edges And then picking up that black shade from the Huda Beauty palette, this is going directly in my crease with an even smaller blending brush. So I'm just taking that from outer corner and then making it a little bit lighter on the inner corner. So this is just going to really smoke it out. Once I have placed all of that down, I'm going to go back in with that brown shade and blend out any edges because we want it to be nice and smoky. Now going in with this olive green shadow, I'm just going to apply this all over my lid with my finger. These are applied best with the finger, so it's kind of hard if you do have nails, but I'm trying my best. And then with whatever like areas that I've left, I'm just going to take a small synthetic brush and just pack that down as much as I can. This is such a pretty shade. Now moving on to the base, I'm taking this primer from Becca. It is the Backlight Priming Filter. It is absolutely stunning if you want a really nice glow to the face. Then for foundation, I'm taking this one from Milani. It was a few shades too light, but we're going to work with it and put some bronzer on later. So I'm just going to start by painting this all over my face with a paddle brush. And then I just went in with a beauty blender to make sure there's no like lines from the brush or anything and to make sure it is super full coverage. Now it's time to cancel out the discoloration under my eyes. So I'm taking this one from NYX. I only had a tiny bit of this left, so I was just working with what I had. But I do really like this concealer, especially for the price. It just does a great job at covering everything up. So to set that down, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. As soon as I've done that concealer, I'm just going to pack it right on so we have no creasing at all. And then to set the rest of the face, I'm going in with this one from Astralis. It is a few shades darker than my face, so that's exactly what I want because the foundation was a little bit light. So we're just going to match it to the neck and now I'm super matte, which um, kind of takes away the purpose of that primer, but I love this powder. Okay, so let's now move on to the lower lash line. I'm just taking this Violet Boss Glitter Glue and just lining that from outer corner to inner corner so this MAC Gold Glitter sticks. And oh my god, this is the prettiest gold glitter I have ever seen. You guys need to get it. I'm just going to pack that right over the top and it looks so stunning. Now it's time to pull the whole look together with some massive lashes. So I'm going to start by taking this Essence Mascara and just coating my top and bottom lashes to prep them for falsies. And then for the falsies, I just literally found the most dramatic ones in my cupboard and just stuck them right on and it just made everything look stunning. And then for the inner corner, I'm taking Violet Voss Glitter Glue and just popping that on and then following up with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Gold Digger and just putting that directly on top to add a bit of a glow to the inner corner. Is. And then to contour, I'm taking the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer and just carving out my cheeks, making them look super defined. Now it's time to warm up the face a bit, so I'm taking this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun. I use this all the time, I'm sure you guys have seen me use it before, but it's like a really nice bronzy orangey color and it just complements the face so well and makes it look like you have a really nice tan so i'm just putting this under my cheekbones where i contoured and also around the perimeter of my face to just give everything life and then of course i'm going in and baking underneath my bronzer just because it did get a bit messy under there so i'm just making sure it is super sharp looking this honestly makes the whole look look so much cleaner now it's time for blush. I'm taking this one from MAC. It's just like a blush that honestly matches every single makeup look. It's in the shade Melba. Love it. So I'm just popping this on the apples of my cheeks and blending it back just for a little bit of color. Now it is time for highlighter. So I'm going back in with that same inner corner highlight from Artist Couture. And I'm just spraying my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm just going to pop that on my cheekbones to add a bit of a glow. 
And then we can move on to the lips. So I'm taking this liquid lipstick by Huda Beauty. I absolutely adore the formula of these liquid lipsticks. It's just so easy to apply and so comfortable to wear. So this is going all over the lips. And then on the center, I'm taking this one from Jeffree Star. As per usual in the shade, I'm nude. I just like to create a bit of an ombre lip effect. And also I like really nude lips. So this is perfect. And of course, we're going to go ahead, blend it out, make it look nice and smooth and blended with no harsh lines. Then I'm just going to set my face with this Gerard Cosmetics setting spray, making sure my makeup doesn't move throughout the whole entire day. And then I'm going to finish off with even more highlighter because I feel like it wasn't as intense as I'd hoped. So I'm going in with this one from Physicians Formula. It is so stunning. I'm just going to pack this directly over the top and it's going to be super pigmented as well because I just put that setting spray on. So it's really going to stick onto it. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this look. I'm obsessed with how it turned out because it's something like a little bit different, but it still is really easy to wear. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.